people are just coming to terms with Donald Trump's shock victory. Others, however, are still feeling the outrage. Thousands have taken to the streets of America to protest, with many voicing fears about the future of their civil rights. Last night, one of New York's anti-Trump rallies was held outside one of the businessman-turned-presidential winners' hotel. Love Trump's hate was echoed around the streets of the city, prompting Mayor Bill de Blasio to reassure New Yorkers that he will fight for them. We, for example, believe fundamentally in respecting the rights of all New Yorkers, including those who are undocumented. Um, right now, even with some federal laws that we don't agree with, we're still able to assert our rights as a locality to do that. But I want New Yorkers to know we have a lot of tools at our disposal. We're going to use them. And we're not going to take anything lying down. Unlike Mayor de Blasio's public blasting, global political figures have congratulated Trump on his victory, which has been met with criticism. It's expected that further protests will be staged across the world, showing solidarity and sharing America's fear for what their future may hold. represent women in politics.